Hi, welcome to the Rosé Foray YouTube channel. My name is Jamie, and today we have a special spooky edition of One Dress, Three Coordinates. I decided to use Alice and the Pirates, The Night of Ghost Forest, JSK in navy because I felt like it is an especially spooky print. It has jack-o'-lanterns at the bottom and is just a creepy looking forest, so I figured it was perfect for Halloween time. For my first coordinate, I decided to go for vampire theme, and the main thing I feel that sells this look is the makeup. It was really easy to just make some dark patches under my eyes and then a little drop of blood coming from the corner of my mouth with some lipstick. For this vampire look, I used a corset over top of the JSK and a high neck Victorian style collar because I felt like it really called upon the Victorian-esque vibes that vampires are often associated with. I also added some lacy tights and some strappy shoes because I felt like they were simple and elegant. For the headwear, I used a lacy, sort of fishnet looking, almost fascinator style headband because I wanted to really emphasize the lace in this look. And I used jewelry from Tiny Passerine Creations because I felt like it just went perfectly with the Victorian theme. For my second coordinate, I decided to go for a witch theme, which is super easy to pull off. and. For this coordinate in particular, I kind of wanted to give a sort of witch academy type of feel, uh, which is why I used a blouse that has a large Peter Pan collar. I used a moon necklace to go with my witch hat, which has stars on it, and I also used some moon earrings to kind of emphasize the celestial feel. And finally, I used some regular knee-length boots I found at Forever 21. This dress is pretty long, so the leg wear isn't as visible as some of my other dresses, so I didn't go for too much in that department. For my final coordinate, I went with a sort of cat theme. Um, I know it's a Lolita sin to use cat ears, but I went for it here anyway. I used some regular black cat ears that I found at Target and I added an angelic pretty head bow along with it that lays a little flat to kind of cover up um, a little floof that's at the top of the cat ears. It just didn't read as Lolita without it. And because cats are beautiful and sleek, I decided to use a sheer lace blouse that has various different types of lace on it in addition to a really pretty fringe around the collar. I used some ankle socks to kind of break up all of the uh, black that I had going on in this coordinate and then I just used some Victorian style booties because I felt like it just looked cute. This final style I didn't use any jewelry for because I felt like the blouse had a lot going on. And then finally, over top the skirt, I added a lace overskirt just to add some more texture to the overall look. Although my looks were really simple, I really enjoy the Halloween theme and hopefully next year I can make some more elaborate looks. Boo, it's Nicole Ghost here with some spooky chords for the Halloween season. I decided to use Angelic Pretty's Ghost Night Bride for this one dress three chord challenge. I had only done one chord with this dress so far, so that's why I chose this dress. There was a video we did in the past where I explained in depth what I did with this chord, so I'm going to show you again in a second what the chord looks like. But let's go over what the dress looks like again. It has this gothic castle and it has a whole vampire theme and there's also a lot of lines and lace that is very reminiscent of spider webs. So I did this ghostly vampire look that also tied in the spider webs. I decided to play off the ghost, vampire, and spider web theme for my three chord challenge. This is the first chord that I did and this is a vampire theme. 
I was going for a Bram Stoker's Dracula kind of look where it was very refined looking instead of just overtly bats and blood kind of vampire. I used this blouse from Fan Plus Friend that has a bat detail on the collar. The bag is from H. Nauto and it has a bat detail on it as well. It's actually the Nightmare Before Christmas release and that is actually Jack Skellington's bow tie. I also have the Motier bat bag and I realize now that that was probably a better choice for this, but oh well. I chose these Motier socks because I thought they were a little bit subtle but still very nice. The vest is from an indie brand called Miss Danger and I thought that brought a lot of sophistication to this cord as well as the mini hat. And just to balance out the red a little bit more, I chose these wine colored boots and also a wine colored flower to put on to my hat. To play up the elegance a little bit more, I also chose these Alice in the Pirates lace gloves. So this cord went off of the spiderweb theme. The overdress and the shawl are both off-brand, and when I put them together, I felt like this cord looked very, very feminine and pretty. So I really started to play that up, and I chose these really feminine heels. The heart-shaped spiderweb bag is from Killstar, and I thought that this fit perfectly with the feminine vibe of this cord. I cinched my waist with a Moté lace belt and the socks are from Alice and the Pirates. I believe the headdress is from Fan Plus Friend and I chose it because it has these sparkles and it kind of reminded me of dewdrops on a spiderweb. I have this really cool necklace that has a spider and a red gem on it that looks like a blood drop. And I paired it with this blood drip coupon ring. So this is the ghost cord the socks, the blouse, and the apron are all Taobao brands. I do know that the apron is from a brand called Fox Feather. I chose those three items because they're sheer, so it really played up the ghostly look. The skull bag is from Killstar, and I thought that really made it look a lot more spooky. The headdress is from Moté, and I chose the white wig to really play up the ghost look. The little ghost pin is something that I made myself, and the coffin pin is actually a headdress from an indie brand called Requiem. And to go with the eerie white hair, I also chose white eyelashes. <laughs> 